everyone. I'm Miriam from First Updates Now, and I'm here with Team 13353 Circuit Breakers. And they have a very cool robot. Uh, it looks like, you know, their intake, uh, take, like, just, you know, so definitely some unique looking parts of their robot. Let's learn more about it on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. All right, so can you all start out with the intake on your, on your robot? All right, thank you. Uh, our intake consists of uh, many, um, several Go Build a Boot Wheels. We did this because it's easy to bring in pixels using these Go Build a Boot Wheels. We also have um, a motor facing up in order to save more space for our outtake mechanism. And we have um, a belt drive in order, yeah, to, yeah. So our outtake mechanism consists of a pixel storage box, which has a gate on it that can open and close. And it's also connected to two three-stage Viper slides, which can raise it, and eventually, the pixel box will flip and then the gate will open and it'll drop. So um, on our Viper slides, we, uh, we, we have the Viper slides uh, belt driven because last year we ran into some problems when we added strings because they would constantly break during competition. Um, so now I'll talk about the drone launcher. So the way that this drone launcher works is that we have a servo which has a really like small rod which the rubber band goes behind. So that way when we press the trigger, this servo will turn, releasing the rubber band, uh, making, pushing the paper airplane to go, uh, to fly. And then we have two, three printed hooks on top of our leaner slides to help with hooking, um, hanging. Originally, we had a leaner actuator, but then we decided not to use that because that was too much weight. And it shifted the, um, the center of gravity so that it would tilt and then part of the robot would still be touching the ground. Instead, we switched it to um, two... Uh, 3D printed hooks so that we have more contact with the bar and then we're able to completely get the robot off the ground. Something uh, something innovative we did with the programming this year for our Telia was that we had is that we, uh, we added inversion buttons that invert the controls and uh, uninvert the controls. So the circle, the circle button, if you click it, the robot will start strafing left when you press the stick right and it'll when you press it right and you push it left, it'll start striking to the right. Because our robot, this 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 will usually be facing away from us, and this is the back. So if the back is facing away from us, the controls will be inverted. So to make it easier on our drivers, we have it so that um, you can click a button, controls you invert the controls, and it's very simple to move around. This also cuts down on our cycle time. All right, thank you so much. So that. Really cool robot. So I'm just wondering, have you gone through any iterations throughout the season or is or was this your first robot and it worked? Yeah, we've gone through many iterations. I would say the one that we've gone through the most of is with the pixel box. It originally started with just a box um, that was open on one side and um, had like a slant on another side. And we thought that it would flip and uh, fall through the bottom. And we then switched it to another box that had a piece that would flick the pixels out, and eventually we got to the design right now. Really cool. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sure this has been very in insightful. Uh, thank you so much. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.